Welcome to part 2 of my Super Smash Flash 2 modding tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to mod stages and make your own custom stage. In the last video we learned how to use Presser and JPEX to make our own custom recolors in the SSF2 Color Vault. Now today we're going to use Presser and JPEX again to make stages. If you did not see my last video on how to make costumes, I gave a basic rundown of what Presser is and what JPEX is to give you a general idea of that. The download links to these will also be in the description. Once you have those two programs downloaded, you'll want to go to the McLeod Gaming Wiki and then the list of dats. I'm also putting this link in the description. Be aware that it will update for every new version of the game. So this tutorial is meant for version 1.3.1.1. To figure out what stage you want to mod, you want to go to this stages section here in the contents, click on that. You scroll down until you find the name of the stage that you want. For this tutorial I'll be modding the stage Tower of Salvation, which for this version of the game is DAT47. Once you know what stage you want, you want to take your copy of Super Smash Flash 2, you want to copy it and then paste it wherever you want, somewhere you know that you'll find it later. Once that is copied, you can close out your file explorer. Open Presser, click Uncompress Folder. Now you want to make sure the folder that you uncompress is the right one. So you go to wherever that folder is. Make sure to select the right one. And then select Data. And then uncompress it. Once that is done uncompressing, you can open JPEX. Free Flash Decompiler. Open the DAT file for the stage that you picked. In this case, again, it is DAT47 for me. And there it is, Tower of Salvation. There's the stage, the platform, and the background. The other sprites here are just the hazard. You can edit these if you want to, but you don't have to. There are a few different ways you can mod a stage. You can do a simple recolor or completely overhaul the stage entirely. Here's an example of a stage overhaul where you completely change the aesthetic of the stage and give it a new coat of paint essentially. There's no asset here that is from the original Dreamland stage. The collision is all the same, but the actual stage of itself is completely different. This is more of an example of a stage recolor, keeping most of the assets the same. You'll notice this giant gemstone in the background as well as below the stage, but those are the only two assets I have taken from Final Destination for this stage. Everything else is relatively the same. For the tutorial, I'll be focusing on recolors more than just entire stage makeovers, but you get the idea. Once you're back in JPEX, right-click the images for the assets of the stage you want to change, and then click Export Selection. Export as a PNG, and then you can save it in whatever folder that you want to. For Tower of Salvation specifically, you'll want to export the stage, the platform, and the background. There's also two ways you can do recolors. You can open up any editing program that you use for images and you can hue change the stage all you want or give it filters and stuff. But for now, I'm going to be just doing a simple recolor. Like part one of this series, you'll want to go to Piscal, import the image of the stage, click this import folder here, go to browse images here, and then find where you exported the stage. It should be under images. Open the image file for the stage, select OK, and now you can get to recoloring. When changing the color of the stage, make sure to use the paint bucket tool on the right side, that way it selects all of the same color within the image. When you're done recoloring your stage, go back to JPEX, find the original image that you exported, select replace, and then replace it with whatever the recolor was that you had. Do that for every file that you exported. Once that's done, select Save in the top left, and then close JPEX. Go back to Presser, select Compress Folder, and then select the folder. Once Presser is done compressing your files, you can open up the copy of Super Smash Flash 2 that you have modded and see if it works. 